let's take a look at some of the other things you can do from the reminder list. Here we've got our quick view pane where you can actually enter things to filter out your um, list of events. So we can search, uh, enter birthday to just show us any event that has birthday in the description. Um, type bi, you'll see it'll, it's showing any, any event that has bi in the title. Um, you can also um, search for particular categories. Let's enter holiday, and that would show you all of the events that are tagged with holiday. You can also search for notes. Let's say I knew that one of the, I put a note about grandma in some of my events. Um, you can just show the events that have grandma in the uh, notes category. So that's kind of a nice way to filter down your um, events. We also have this other drop down where you can show just reminders for the selected month in the calendar or the selected week. Um, maybe you won't just want to see events in the next two weeks. So you can sort of quickly narrow down to just the events that you're interested in. In the context menu, we can say hide all the repeat reminders. Um, so you only see one instance of each reminder um, and not all of the uh, repeat events. We can also, from the context menu, um, you can mark events as complete. You see it's drawing a line through it, um, as well as darkens it on the calendar, just to indicate that that event has been completed. Um, hitting the space bar is also a shortcut to um, mark and unmark an event complete. We can delete a reminder by uh, hitting delete. We'll get a confirmation. And you see that reminder has been deleted from our list. Um, we can also edit and, and modify events from just from the calendar context menu as well. You see we're marking that event uh, as important, and then we changed it back. We can also do a, a find if you just want to search through your list to find a particular event. Uh, we entered credit and it highlighted the uh, pay credit card bill event. This will toggle the calendar display on and off if, if you're interested in um, hiding it or showing it. We can also go to the to do's pane. These are sort of like um, reminders except they have an optional date. Um, you can just put list of items that you need to complete. So let's uh, enter a new to-do. We've got a get gift for mom's anniversary. So we can set a date. Um, we'll just enter in a date there. We don't want to repeat. This is just a one-time event. And we'll set an alarm uh, the day before just to make sure that we uh, complete that. Let's add another to-do. Just click the Add To-Do. Hey, do that book report. I do not want to forget that. Be in big trouble, Mr. Williams. Uh, we'll add one more. Get new basketball shoes. That is key. That's really important, so we'll mark that as important. And you see that it shows up in red. So here we've got a number of to-dos. You can sort of sort them by priority by moving them up or down from the context menu or hitting uh, Alt in the up arrow or down arrow. So you can sort of um, prioritize them as you see fit. You can mark them complete. You see the, the checkbox on the right is, is um, showing when they're completed. You can hide or show your completed items to, just to clear the list, um, make it more readable. And you, of course, when you hover over them, you get the, uh, the information about that particular event. Okay, so now down in the corner, when we hover over, we'll actually see our to-dos as well as any uh, upcoming events. So that's kind of nice to, to quickly see those just in your um, tooltip on your status bar. Okay, we'll add one, one last reminder to open a new bank account. And you can actually set a particular time for any reminder. So here we'll say 5.30, OK. You see we see that in our um, tooltip now as well.